But a major victory for President Trump, who campaigned on a promise to repeal and replace Obamacare. And with just one vote to spare, the House today passed the American Health Care Act in a vote of 2017, I should say 217 to 213, <clears throat> excuse me. No Democrats voted for the bill and 20 Republicans voted against it. The bill reduces subsidies for low-income Americans. It also eliminates taxes on the wealthy that pay for them. And it encourages young people to buy insurance by offering an age-based tax credit for people making less than $75,000 a year. States can also choose to allow insurers to charge higher rates for people with pre-existing conditions, but only if the state set up high-risk pools to help with those costs. And now they say, oh no, it's still in there, but the insurance company can charge you whatever they want. Uh, you have cancer? Oh, that'll be $100,000 a year for your policy. The bill now heads to the Senate where it faces more challenges because of the same ideological splits between conservative and moderate Republicans that nearly killed it in the House. The uh, health care bill had been opposed by all six of Nevada's members of Congress, but one of those members flipped and may have been a deciding vote that moved the bill forward. Politics Now co-host Patrick Walker here now to try and break down this mixed reaction for sure coming from Nevadans on Capitol Hill. Yeah, David, at East, uh, Mark Amaday out of northern Nevada had been one of the firm no's on this mm -hmm. bill pretty much since the beginning. Uh, he was a no because the previous version threatened the state's expanded Medicaid program under the Affordable Care Act. But Amaday voted yesterday as the bill passed by just two votes. Amaday sent out a lengthy statement outlining why he voted for the bill. He says he feels confident the expanded Medicaid program Governor Sandoval accepted under the ACA is not threatened by Trump Care 2.0. Hundreds of thousands of Nevadans received access to health insurance because of that move. Nevada Democrats say 153,000 Nevadans would lose access to health insurance under the new plan. But the bill moved it moved through so quickly, rather, the Congressional Budget Office hadn't released any formal numbers. It's been one of the many arguments by Democrats against the bill, but some Republicans also have questions about it. I wish they had waited a little bit longer and it had been uh, vetted a little more in public. Uh, it's not quite as bad as what went on with the Democrats with Obamacare back in the day where they, we knew basically nothing at all. He had concerns about the rush process, the lack of transparency, the lack of hearings. That hasn't changed. There hasn't been a hearing on this bill. There hasn't been the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office hasn't scored this bill for any sort of fiscal impact. Well, the bill still faces hurdles in the Senate. Republicans have a 52-48 majority with the vice president able to cast a vote in the event of a tie. That means three Republicans, if they vote against it, would kill it. I reached out to Senator Dean Heller's office today and a spokesperson told me his position has not changed. He is a no on this version of the bill. And there are several other Republicans in states that, like Nevada, accepted the Medicaid expansion under President Obama. They are expected to vote no as well unless the bill is heavily amended, which would set up a showdown once again with the House. Liberal groups here in Las Vegas have been expressing their outrage over today's vote. More on that coming up tonight at 6. Denise. All right.